the last time I was lucky enough to, to interview uh, the incredible Olivia Newton-John was in January last year. The world's favourite Australian had returned to the studio alongside her beautiful daughter, Chloe, and I sat down with them on Zoom to talk about their <laughs> duet and their very special relationship. Ladies, it is lovely to see you. Happy New Year to you. Happy, Happy New, Year. New Year. Good to see you. It's lovely to see you both together too. If you, you had a bit of time to, to spend over the, the holiday season? Yes, we've had some wonderful times together. Over this past uh, nine or ten months, the, one of the joys that has come out of it is being able to spend time together. It's been great. This is a beautiful song. Talk to me about the song. Where did it come from? Whose idea was it for you to record it together? Because it's just gorgeous. Thank you, Richie. Glad you like it. We, it was interesting because I had really thought that I was not going to sing anymore. I recorded the song with Barry Gibb on his Greenfields album, which I'm so thrilled is doing so well everywhere, about a year ago before COVID. And so I thought, I'm just, you know, I don't need to sing anymore. I'll just be at home. And, and then a lady who I'd met at a health clinic out of the blue sent me this song and she said my cousin wrote this song and I just know that you have to record this song it's really important and I thought oh my goodness her cousin wrote it it's going to it's going to be terrible because I've had these things happen before as I was really anxious about it <laughs> and then I heard it and John and I were listening to it and we were really moved I started crying and I thought I have to record this song she's right there's something about it that's really special and I thought who do I want to record this with? Chloe. She was the first person that came into my heart, really, more than my mind. And uh, so I asked her, it wasn't written as a duet, but I could hear it as a duet, and so I asked her to do it with me. I see it in the sky. The night is mine. It's not the first time you two have sung together, of course. I mean, you, you, you hit a number one last time when you recorded a little bit of magic, didn't you? Yes, yeah. he did. It was great. Chloe wrote some new lyrics for John Farris' song and it was a big hit. So I joined her genre for that and now she's joining me for mine. What's it like singing with your mum who, I mean you've done it before, but what's it like singing with your mum who just so happens to be one of the world's most successful singers? Um, no pressure. She's my <laughs> mom, you know. I, <laughs> she's my mom, but I think like, you know, I do, I always get a little bit nervous um, just because she you know with pitch she can hear any type of being off and I'll notice like a little twitch in her <laughs> eye or whatever what's it like the feeling Olivia when you when you're singing with your little baby girl who's all grown up but uh, you know you must feel proud I feel like I'm passing the torch to her now you know and um, uh, it's her time she's going to be recording more songs and writing more songs and I thought this was a, just the perfect song to, to relaunch my girl um, back into the world of music again. And I'm very proud of her all the way around. And the video, oh my goodness, Olivia, your backyard has never looked so good. <laughs> I know, isn't it amazing? It looked beautiful, didn't it? But it um, it smelled like something died, and there was about 100,000 uh, mosquitoes <laughs> that, for, like, for some reason, thank God, they did a camera trick, you couldn't see it, but I was, I had just mounds. Um, but, you know, like a professional, I didn't let it show. <laughs> You mentioned the Greenfields album, Barry Gibbs record. I don't know if you know, but it's number one here in Australia. I'm so thrilled for Barry. He deserves it. He's written some of the most amazing songs in history. And he's one of the sweetest, kindest and most humblest men I've ever met. He's just amazing. And if I was then, I'd be right by your side. The song you sung with him, Rest Your Love On Me, I was digging around and I found a version that you recorded with Andy, a live version that's just absolutely magic. Do, do you remember that? Oh, yes, of course I do. I mean, he was on my television special, Hollywood Nights, many years ago, and Andy and I recorded that as a single, and Barry produced it and wrote it for us. So when he asked, when Barry called me and asked if I'd sing this with him on the album, I was very touched, actually, because that was a very special song, and the fact that I'd sung it with Andy made it even more special. Lay your 
Gaia continues to win so many accolades, Olivia, and now you've sort of documented it all in this book, yeah? I know. Hold on, I want to get the book. Can you hold on a sec? Hey, Chloe, how's she, how's she doing? She's doing great. Yeah, good. How you doing, Mom? I'm doing great. <laughs> We're just having a chat while he went to... I'm sorry, I had to do that because I wanted to show you the cover. It's so beautiful. It goes through how we found the property, how we remodeled it and all the wonderful guests and events we've had there. It's the most gorgeous book. I mean, it's just stunning. So we're just so thrilled to have this as a memento of the journey of Gaia. The one thing that I really miss with this pandemic is not being able to come home because I really do miss Gaia and I miss my family and friends out there. So do I. Yeah. Stay well, Olivia. Lovely to see you, Chloe. Lots of love from all your friends. We love you. Love you, Richard. Love you, Richard. Bye. Oh. Oh, buddy. Check back. Well done, man. It's, it's such a beautiful... Your relationship with her was, was so beautiful. Didn't want to do this. No, no, it's all right. It's all right. It's, it's a depth of there feeling. There aren't too many people that you can do a, a Zoom... We can feel it. A Zoom thing. Yeah. Well, she touched she touched everyone didn't she? And, and and even through as you say a zoom call uh, whether she was whether it was someone in a hospital whether it was someone on the on the boardwalks of Hollywood who didn't even know her that well um, that depth of feeling this woman this woman was extraordinary huh and for you to be here this morning Dickie, yeah, when, when, when this is so well personal. I'm still numb it's still I still you know we love you. Yeah. It's greatly you're encapsulating the pain everyone is feeling around yeah. Australia, yeah. Dicky. But you're of course nothing to worry about. <laughs> nothing, I got about. nothing more to say. It's no, it's good. Her it's life good. speaks it's good. for itself. Mm. Mm. All right, stay with us on this special edition of Today's Show, where we're celebrating the life of the Australian icon Olivia Newton-John.